The Mace of the United States House of Representatives, also called the Mace of the Republic is one of the oldest symbols of the United States government. It symbolizes the governmental authority of the United States, and more specifically, the legislative authority of the House of Representatives. History In one of its first resolutions, the U.S. House of Representatives of the First Federal Congress April 14, 1789, established the office of the Sergeant-at-Arms. The resolution stated, "...a proper symbol of office shall be provided for the Sergeant-at-Arms, of such form and device as the Speaker shall direct." The first Speaker of the House, Frederick Mullenberg of Pennsylvania, approved the ceremonial mace as the proper symbol of the sergeant at arms in carrying out the duties of this office. The current mace has been in use since December 1, 1842. It was created by New York silversmith William Adams, at a cost of $400 equivalent to $10,000 in 2016 to replace the first one that was destroyed when the Capitol building was burned on August 24, 1814, during the War of 1812. A simple wooden mace was used in the interim. Topic. Description The design of the mace is derived from an ancient battle weapon and the Roman fasces. The ceremonial mace is 46 inches centimeters high and consists of 13 ebony rods, representing the original 13 states of the Union, bound together by silver strands criss-crossed over the length of the pole. Atop this shaft is a silver globe on which sits an intricately cast solid silver eagle. <laughs> Procedure For daily sessions of the House, the sergeant carries the silver and ebony mace of the House in front of the Speaker, in procession to the rostrum. When the house is in session, the mace stands on a cylindrical pedestal of green marble to the speaker's right. When the house is in committee, it is moved to a lowered position on a pedestal next to the sergeant at arms desk, more or less out of sight. Thus, members entering the chamber know immediately whether the house is in session or in committee. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Disciplinary usage. In accordance with the House rules, on the rare occasion that a member becomes unruly, the sergeant-at-arms, upon order of the speaker, lifts the mace from its pedestal and presents it before the offenders, thereby restoring order. Since the members are able to edit the congressional record before it goes to print, there is no mention of the actual use of the mace in this capacity. A recent recorded threat to present the mace was on July 29, 1994, when Representative Maxine Waters interrupted Representative Peter T. King on the floor of the House, although the mace was ultimately not presented. See also Sergeant at Arms of the United States House of Representatives Sergeant at Arms of the United States Senate